relatively quickly. Uh, we want to do two things, actually, um, in the next 10, 15 minutes. Um, the first is to uh, close um, the event with a vif some reflections on why this was important um, and what lessons we take from it. And the second is um, actually as exciting is to sign this year's agreement. Normally we sign agreements by correspondence, uh, but this time the timing was perfect, so we can actually Excellent. have a picture and I can Very good. Um, I can keep that picture forever, forever as part of my memories. Amen. So Enrique, yes. if you okay. want to. Well, well, thank you very much. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm very pleased with the, the quality of this, uh, this conference. I think the, the topic uh, is very, very important. Perhaps what I would say is that uh, one of the elements I think impressed me very much that there is an agreement in all the panels, and going back to what I said in the morning, that this issue of informality is not an issue that you have to look at from a very limited viewpoint. It is a multi-dimensional, like you said, you know, it's transversal. You have to look at it. And the fundamental thing, which I think in, in the last panel became very, very clear, is that we have to think that we are in a new world. We have to think in those crazy things that Carlotta manages, you know, the, the future. Um, looking at, at the world of today, the Ubers and all those things, if you, those of you who were in the, for instance, in the World Economic Forum last year in Davos, which the centerpiece of the discussions was precisely what uh, Schwab calls the fourth industrial revolution. I don't know if it's the fourth, the fifth, or the third, but the question, the relevant thing is that once you were there and look at the world, what is going to be like 15, 20 years from now, you get scared. Because I, what I see in Latin America by, by being involved in so many countries and visiting, it's not in the minds of, of many of the policy makers to what is the real change that is coming. So if we want to tackle the issue that concerns us, there was the central piece of this discussion today, so-called informality, with all the difference, it was very interesting. The only controversial matter in this day was how you define informality. So let's forget about the word. What we are talking about is how do you build a new model, a long-term view that will take into account all the elements starting with productive transformation so that what you are going to do in the countries, in the region, is consistent with the new trends Let's not do more of the same. We have to reinvent ourselves every day, every minute. And this is a good time to reinvent ourselves. And precisely to, to have productive transformation, to not to disregard it. And I like a lot of what you mentioned, that you went back to, to the fact that natural resources are important. Yes, they are, but not in the traditional way. Let's use that to upgrade the processes, to use technology, to use innovation, and as an engine of growth. But the combination with moving into other areas to build those clusters of cooperation, to rethink the concept of import substitution, not in the traditional ways that we had in the old times, or at least you had in the old times, you know, uh, and to have a new path. So, I think that if I'm very pleased to, to see that the way, at least from the standpoint of CAF, the way we are looking, the, 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 the discussions that we have, uh, our comprehensive agenda of development, which covers simultaneously macroeconomic stability, macroeconomic efficiency, inclusion and equity, and sustainable environment, those linked together are very important. And, by the way, many times we make a very serious mistake in all topics. The ministers of finance, they meet together and they, they just talk about the financial side. You take the people in the environment, the environment. Wrong approach. You have to find ways to have groups that are 
integrated. You have all those people discussing the issues and looking at the future, trying to get a common objective, a common view, a common agenda in fundamental things that will precisely close the gaps that separate, in the case of Latin America, from the rest of the world if we want to converge with industrial countries in the next 15 or 20, 25 years. Otherwise, we are going to be behind. And this is a time of inflection in which we have an opportunity, I believe, to move into structural policies and to try to combine public and private sector activities, to be intelligent in attracting good direct foreign investment, and precisely to solve the more specific issue of informality, not only to look at informality as such, but to look at it as a component of a more comprehensive approach. So that, that's what, what I get out of the, the whole day. And I, I want to congratulate, I think, the, all the panelists. It was excellent. It was very good. Now I'm going to speak. I'll, I'll, I'll look smarter starting tomorrow, you know, with new ideas. And, and also, of course, thank very much to you and, and the school, the university, for giving us the opportunity to, to work together. And, to, and thanks to all, all the people who have put so much effort in this, on this occasion and in making this successful, the, the staff. And the, I thank especially the, the students that have worked so hard with a very nice smile, you know. And, and so and they, they were very happy outside. I went outside and they were, and they were saying, Half an hour, half an hour, and they go. Well, so thank you very much, and I, I think that we'll we'll continue working together and, and trying to to put uh, all our knowledge, efforts, experience, and trying to to build up uh, approaches that will serve. At the end of the day, what you need is how you reach people, you how you improve the quality of life of the majority of the citizens, and not merely the the economic side, but the social side, the ethical principles, and those things that are so valuable in society. So thank you very much. Hmm? So I'll be brief. Um, let me start by thanking um, also uh, both the students, uh, Stephen, and, and others for the organization of um, of the event. Uh, this kind of event takes a lot of time, takes a lot of energy, and we couldn't do it without you. But, um, and let me reflect slightly on, on the topic. When, I think when Dave um, designed uh, and thought about the conference, as when we have thought about previous conferences, basically what you want to do with something like this is very much uh, to raise questions based on past research to try to think about the future. I think what is interesting about informality is some of the debates have been very similar for the last 40 years. So I was very struck by the, by the discussion about the definition. These the, the discussions of what informality means and how to measure it are not from yesterday, from um, the day before, are for the last 40 years between sociologists and economists. So this just reflected. Or discussions about the, the problems of productivity. So I think what is nice about informality is that it combines this issue of things in which we are discussing without moving a lot with things that are very new um, and things that require more thinking uh, from all of us and from all of us that are watching because they, we are in the web and everyone is watching us um, as well with those questions. And let me just raise three issues that I think are important. Um, the first is that um, to think a little bit about what is new in our economies and what is not new. So I totally share um, the comments from the last panel and from Carlota that there's a lot of things that are new uh, in the global economy today. But the fact is, much of the structural problems of the region are not new, right? And much of the ways in which people live um, are very much a reflection of the past. And in fact, I'm always worried about um, when Europeans think about the uberization of uh, and informalization of economies. Well, that's how Latin America has lived for the last century, if not for a lot, very long time. So I think thinking about what is new versus what um, it's actually part of the structure is extremely important. The second is how link informalities with discussions of the social policy and with social incorporation. At the end, uh, part of what we are discussing is how much the region advances in one or the other, but also how much these are linked through issues like payroll taxes, through issues like production, etc. And the third 
um, which the, the work of um, and the presentation by um, Dave clearly show is how important it is to think about informal workers, not only about as economic actors, but also about as political actors and uh, in their links, but also in their aspirations. Um, Severin had this question about um, before about, well, what do they actually want and think? We haven't discussed that a lot, but it's very much within the agenda as well. What is more interesting for me and I think from uh, my colleagues at the Latin American Center is that these are all questions that require a multidisciplinary and an interdisciplinary approach. And in that sense, um, they claim to the type of research we do, but also they claim to the type of center we are. And that, I think, is exciting. Finally, to conclude, I think the, a conference like this shows very much, and I hope you saw it, reflects very much what we wanted when we thought about the agreement and when we thought about um, thinking about these issues. Because why, what is that we wanted to, to do with the agreement um, before and with the agreement now is very much to promote knowledge and to promote new ways of thinking about questions, to create multidisciplinary conversations between Latin American and European researchers, uh, to interact with Latin American researchers. I was very glad that uh, Rosanna Mauricio, which is our CAF fellow this year, was also presenting at the conference, and also to promote and create a new generation of leaders with our fellowships. And this is, I think, what we are doing, and this is what the conference very much reflects. I have to conclude by reinforcing that all of this is only possible, Enrique, because of you and because you decided that that was a, an important step in the last few years of um, your work as president, and I thank you uh, very much for this, to say how excited we are that we are now going to sign a new one, but of course to end up with saying how hopeful I am that this is not the last one, but um, this is one of many, even if you are moving, uh, but also this is one of many times you come back to Oxford. Of course. So thank you very much to all for being here, and maybe let's move to sign a new well, one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we move. Move. Yes. I have been promised a pen like this, but they didn't want to give it to me. <laughs> Una firma, no? Sí. Exacto, y cambiamos. Bueno. Thanks to this is why some of you are here, so I'm... Perfect. Very good. Can, can I ask now? Yes. Fake. Okay. Oh, no. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Here we go. If you're looking at me, thank you. Stay there. Let me get one more. And now one. And now one. Perfect. Well, thank you all uh, for thank coming, especially much. those that stayed for the whole thing. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and um, that's it. If I could have just the speakers staying, because we need to take a photo, a group oh. photo. But, oh, but you're forgetting that there's a PowerPoint with the summary for all the presentations, you know, for, oh. for, for four <laughs> oh, for hours. Now, for four <laughs> hours more. No, 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 you can go. <laughs>